welcome back to the channel guys welcome to another Ramadan daily video I have a shopping addiction I have an Amazon addiction if any of you can relate please raise your hand <laughs> um, I ordered a lot of stuff I've been ordering like a lot of home decor and I'm actually hosting a if it's are like a really big it's gonna be like over 30 people yeah it's gonna be a lot of people but I thought it'd be really cute to like decorate the um, the little club lounge area downstairs where we're going to be hosting the iftar and I picked up some like decor for that and then also just like some things that I need for it like plates and stuff and I thought that it'd be fun to like I don't know share that in a video I also found a lot of really cute home decor like I was actually shocked that it was Amazon and not like some expensive like West Elm CB2 type place. This is all stuff that is like in stock and well hopefully in stock by the time this video goes live. Um, but like is like new items that I recently found so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A lot of this stuff is going to be like decor for either my living room or my bedroom so I'm excited and it's all from Amazon so it's like pretty affordable too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox everything. I'm so excited to like see it all in person because I haven't even opened these packages yet. They've just been sitting here all week because I've been waiting for this video. But if this is your first time, please subscribe. Would love for you guys to join the family and subscribe. And yeah, if you guys are wondering where this hijab is from, it's uh, part of the new Vela hijab collection. I think it's part of the Ramadan release or their spring release. I'm not really sure, but it's so gorgeous. Like I had to wear it in this video. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, that took way longer than expected. I don't think I realized how much stuff I actually bought. <laughs> so, let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna get started with all the stuff that I bought for the Iftar first. So I obviously just got some plates. I like to get some like colored ones and kind of have a theme. So these are just some regular gold plates, nice and big so everyone can fill their plates with food. And then what should I do next? Obviously napkins. I mean, this is kind of redundant to show you guys, but if you're wondering, I got some napkins too. On to the decor. So firstly, I thought it'd be kind of cute to have like a little, um, like entryway sort of sign for like when my guests come out of the elevator and like towards the club lounge area so I found this banner a lot of the cute ones were already taken because obviously you have to do your like Ramadan decor shopping like months in advance otherwise things sell out really quickly but I did manage to find <laughs> this massive Ramadan Mubarak sign as you can see and I thought it was kind of cute I don't know I feel like I can like hang this or something right towards the entrance and just like I can like tie things so I don't have to like tape anything to the wall which will be nice and this thing is pretty big I don't know exactly how many feet it is but if I were to guess actually I won't guess because I don't really know but it's super cute I thought this would be really cute I feel like if you are having like an iftar in your backyard or I don't know something like that you can like post this in the front of your house so people know where your house is and they know that the party's going on over there and I just really liked this one in particular because it had the mosques in the front so I have this little Ramadan Mubarak sign like it looks a lot nicer in person than it does online so I'm very happy about that I was nervous that it wouldn't turn out exactly how I want but it was pretty inexpensive I don't know exactly how much but I'm gonna be linking everything in this video in the description box so you can just check that out in case you have an iftar that you're planning as well. Um, all of these stuff as well is with Amazon Prime. So I wanted things, I don't want to be waiting like a week for things. Like I want it now, I want it tomorrow. Actually I want it today. <laughs> so some of these have um, like one day shipping, two day shipping or three day shipping. I think that's the max that I did because I wanted everything in time before the weekend. So yeah. In case you're planning a last minute iftar, then you can actually get all these items, which is nice. Um, and then I got some decor items. I really wanted um, that like infamous, or not infamous, but I guess like that very popular um, crescent moon like date tray. But the one I think from like Days of Eid is the most popular one, like the bamboo one. That one was sold out, unfortunately. So I have plans to get that when they put it back in stock after Ramadan ends so that I could use it for next year. But I found this one through Amazon Prime 
and it looks promising, so hopefully it is. Okay, this actually isn't too bad. It is definitely a lot smaller than I intended though. But I think it'll be cute. I basically wanted this for um, date trays. Uh, so I'm gonna be putting all the dates for the guest in here. It's definitely not gonna be enough, but I'm thinking like as the tray finishes, I'll just continually add more. I feel like that's so cute! And it comes separately, so you can use it separately if you wanted. That's what the quality looks like. I was kind of nervous because there was like no photos about the quality of this, so I didn't know how it would turn out, but I do really like it. And then I got this really cute like Islamic sign. Okay, this isn't the color that I wanted, I wanted black but it'll do for what I need it. I guess everything else is gold, so it works. But I got this little Bismillah sign, which I thought would be really cute. It definitely said online that this was gonna be black, but that's okay, I actually don't mind the gold because it matches the rest of my decor, but I got a Bismillah sign. I thought it would just be a really cute touch. And the quality of this isn't amazing. I have another one from Salam Gallery that's actually a lot nicer. That one says Alhamdulillah. I'm gonna be taking that um, downstairs for the iftar as well because I think it'll be really cute. This one is kind of like foam. Like the other one that I have is actual like stainless steel or metal. This one's just foam and it has like a gold like piece of plastic on both ends. So it's not like, you know, it's not gonna be like decor that you keep in your house for a long time, but it is good like seasonal decor. Um, and then the other thing that I got, I'm actually excited for this. I really hope they look cute, but I thought it'd be really cute to have these little lanterns everywhere and actually I guess it is good that they sent me gold because all of the decor is kind of matching now but I got these really cute lanterns it comes with a set of eight and they're really cute so I think you can like actually they have like a little keyhole over here so you can actually hang them on things if you wanted like on trees or like I don't know some like twinkly lights or something I'm just gonna have it like this and it already has a battery in it which is really cool so Let's actually see what it looks like. Oh, that's so cute! It has like a little flickering candle in there, like a electric one or ba a battery run one. Um, so I thought this would be really cute to just kind of like put all around the area. Maybe I'll take some of the lanterns that I already have in my house that I use for Ramadan and stuff and like place them around. And I thought it would just be a really cute touch. And these were really inexpensive as well. And I can like continually use them for years and years to come. They also come in like a set of six, I believe, if you wanted like slightly less. And they also have different colors. So I think they had gold, white, black, and silver, and possibly a couple other colors. I'll, of course, link it below, as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a really good find and a really easy way to like make your iftar look a little special. So I think that's it for all of the Ramadan decor um, or like the iftar decor. So I'm gonna go into all the decor that I got for my apartment and like my bedroom and everything. So I'm gonna start with Oh, oh my god, okay. I'm gonna start with this piece because it's the biggest. But guys, look how stunning this vase is. I found this on Amazon. I was so shocked. It's kind of like a cement slash like sand color. And it has all of this beautiful texture. I'm just in love with this. And I feel like it's gonna look really good on top of my dresser. And I'm, I'm planning on either getting like pompous grass or just like dried... Um, like sticks, like those really tall, whimsical looking sticks um, and just placing them in here and just having that in the corner of my room on top of my dresser, I feel like that will be really cute. And this is actually quite big. I believe it was around like $60, which I feel like is not a bad price for a vase this big and of this good quality. Really, really love that. This was like an amazing, amazing find. And let's just continue on with the theme of vases. I have a lot of them. This is so pretty. Looks like little macaroni noodles. Okay, so these are <laughs> a couple other vases that I got. This one is an example of one that I probably won't put like a flower or anything in. I mean, I could put like some kind of dried something like pompous grass or something in here, but it's this cute little vase. It looks like this. Um, it's kind of like a neutral taupe color, like stone color. It can also pull white. I wonder if I can like put it up closer so you guys can see the texture and everything. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's really beautiful and it actually came in a set of two. I don't know if I knew that it came in a set of two, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. 
So we have two matching ones. I don't know if I'm gonna like place them together or like in different parts of the house, but very, very happy. Okay, moving on. Let's see what is in this. Uh, mind you, I bought these all at like 5 a.m. in the morning. It was like, as I was waiting for, um, as I was waiting for Fudger to come in. So I was like half delusional while ordering all of this, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> I also got ooh, I also got this little vase, which is so cute. I love the little like handles on them. I'm pretty sure I thought this was gonna be white though. I feel like this is the same kind of like sand color. You can kind of see the color difference in this. This one pulls a little bit more gray than this one does, but I don't mind. I think it looks really pretty and has a really good texture to it. So I'm really excited to style this. This, again, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna place like flowers or anything in. I think it would be really cute if I did, but I think just on its own, it looks really pretty as well. And it has like a really cool texture to it too. It has kind of these like indentations everywhere and it, so it kind of looks a little bit more rustic. It's so cute. Yet another vase. Um, I got a black one this time because I want to add some texture. This one will probably go in my bedroom. I actually don't have a lot of black accents in my bedroom, so I feel like this will look really, really beautiful. And it's got kind of like this glossy matte finish, and it's beautiful. So, yeah. If, I remember this being like super inexpensive as well. Look how beautiful this blush is. I've been loving the Westman Atelier. Um, I think it's called like baby cheeks or something, their blush. And then they have this highlight like in um, brulee, I believe, and it literally is the most gorgeous thing I've ever put on my face. Like it makes me just look so glossy and glowy, I'm obsessed. Okay, last vase, I promise. <laughs> oh wait, actually no, that's a lie. I have one more. She's sitting right over here though. But this vase kind of reminds me of this one but it's just slightly different. This one's actually more white as well. And this one has some texture to it, which I thought would look really beautiful. Um, so this will go somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Like I said, a lot of these things, I don't really know where they're gonna go. I just really liked how they looked, so. She's cute, I like her. Let me put a little up close so you can see the texture a little bit better. Yeah, it has some really, really nice texture to it. Okay, and now the last face that I got is this cute little Hand vase, how adorable is this? So it has like little hands, kind of like if someone was going like that, which is a signature pose of mine. Um, but I thought it'd be really cute if I had little roses in this. It would just like be like the hair almost and like the face, it would just be roses. But I thought that would be really cute. This will probably go in my office or something because I feel like it's definitely more like an office vibe. Everywhere else in my home, I try to keep it very like aesthetic and minimal and like, I don't know, just like a different vibe, a little bit more modern, but this one is just cute and I wanna look at it and be like, aw, every time I see it. So I'm gonna put this in my office. And I think I got the smaller size, but they also have like a bigger size. That's like the exact same thing, just like I think maybe like this much bigger. So if you do want something bigger, you can get that as well, but it's so cute. I just have a few more items to share with you guys. This one actually, I thought these beads would be bigger, but I'll just show it to you guys anyways. I've been looking for kind of like, not a dupe, but something similar to the beads that I already have in my living room. Um, and I saw these and they were like $6, so I just decided to order them. You know what, actually they're kind of cute. I feel like this will go really beautifully like on top of some coffee table books, which I got a lot, which I'll go through in a sec, like in my bedroom or something. Um, just kind of like laying on top over there. It's just so cute. They look like kind of like prayer beads or something, but They're really cute. I think they're like um, a very light oak wood if you can see that and Then the tassels are just this like ropey design, but I feel like for six bucks This is actually a really really good deal. So if you like something like this um, Definitely check out the link in my description Okay, moving on to all of the books that I got. I got quite a lot, so I'll just go through ooh, each one individually. So this first one, I love Dior. I have always admired like their bags and just their style of clothing and accessories and stuff. Um, I feel like it's one of the more like classy high-end or luxury um, brands. So I really wanted to get a coffee table that had Dior. So I got that one, and this one is the Dior Couture Patrick DeMar 
Demarchelier. I don't know how to pronounce that, but actually I kind of want to open it and see what photos are inside. This one I'll probably put in my bedroom on one of my nightstands because I have really big nightstands now, um, which by the way, video tour of my entire bedroom will be coming soon, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, this is like huge. This is probably, yeah, this is the biggest coffee table book that I got out of the bunch. And this was expensive, but I feel like this is something that I'm always going to style my, you know, my homes with. Um, this one and like, inshallah, my future homes too. It has like quotes in here from Christian Dior. And then it has like some couture designs, um, some like vintage couture designs and just some of their like iconic um, campaigns and stuff so I'm so excited to kind of like read through this and the great thing about this is you can actually style it different ways so if you wanted you can keep the sleeve on it but I think maybe possibly I'm not really sure the way that I might do it is actually just have it open like this it has kind of like a linen jersey um, like hard sh hard shell which is like really really cute but I mean this part is really cute too because it actually does say Dior so we'll see what I end up doing um, what I've also done in the past is actually used both of them <laughs> like I've taken the book cover off and using that as like a little decor item um, either by like stuffing something inside of it or whatever and then you can also use the book so that's a way to like get a two-in-one but I think I'm probably gonna leave it like this because I think it's really beautiful as is so the next thing I got oof, Ooh, the Dior one and this one I wanted specifically like I knew that I wanted to get these two books and was willing to fork up the expensive amount for it. These were like 80, 70 or 80 dollars or more. I can't exactly remember. But Architectural Digest, I absolutely love home interior and just everything about it. So Architectural Digest is just like an iconic home interior brand um, and I just love what they do. So I got their book. And I like it because it's like a um, linen material. Let me actually just open it so I can show you. Wow, this is even more beautiful in person. I love it. My goal one time in my life is to be on Architectural Digest. Either showing like, I don't know, like a space or my entire home or something. I'm speaking that into existence, so inshallah it happens. Um, but this is what it looks like. It has AD on the front in like a white color and then the actual book is um yeah it's like a linen material i'm trying to like get it up close so you guys can see the material it's kind of hard to tell on camera but it is so beautiful it is very heavy um and wow let's just flip through a couple pages of this because i'm so excited so this is the ad at 100 a century of style so literally showing 100 years of style and there's like mid-century modern just like country i guess farmhouse this is beautiful I just feel like this is gonna be such a beautiful book to just like scroll through whenever I'm bored um, and get some inspiration like this oh, this is like a Mediterranean Spanish home and I love Spanish homes so much like if I could own a beautiful like 1920s 1930 Spanish home in LA one one time I would absolutely love that but yeah like getting inspo like that I feel like will be really really fun and then these other ones, um, I kind of just looked for books that would look aesthetically pleasing. So I don't really know, like, I don't know too much about these authors or anything. I literally just searched coffee table books and looked through the ones that looked the most intriguing. But this one I thought was really beautiful because it's actually um, like a blow. Oh, it's kind of dirty. That's annoying. That's okay though. Um, this is like a black owned uh, book and like, well, I don't know if it's black owned. I hope it's black owned, but it's featuring a lot of black creatives and I just really liked the cover art of this. I feel like this is going to be something that I display or I'm not really sure yet, but it's just really, really beautiful. And um, inside a lot of photos like this girl. I just, I love looking at like black creatives and what they're doing and their stories and stuff. But the imagery in this is just so beautiful as well. Like, wow. And this one, I didn't even mention the name, it's called Brown Bohemians, Honoring the Light and Magic of Our Creative Community. Oh, okay, for a second I thought this was like produced or something by Issa Rae, but it just says on the back reporter, and last but not least, who are you rooting for tonight? And Issa Rae says, I'm rooting for everybody black. I am betting on black tonight. 
So I love that. Um, and then I got another kind of like black focused book as well. This one is not so much in my aesthetic. Like I don't really love a lot of color, especially like this kind of color, but I thought it would be really beautiful to just have um, it's more substance, I guess, than the other books. It's called Supreme Models, Iconic Black Women Who Revolutionized Fashion. So I thought this would be really cool to have in my collection as well. And it's written by celebrity stylists and journalists. I feel like I'm starting to run really low on energy right now. So I'm sorry if my vibe is a little bit off. I'm just like getting really tired and hungry <laughs> and thirsty. And talking a lot is hard. So, so stunning. Wow. Okay, I am going to love this book. Oh, how stunning. Oh, like, of course, Queen Iman, we have to have her. This is so beautiful. So literally every page or every other page has a different black model. And it basically just shows some of her most like iconic moments and stuff. We got Tyra Banks. Wow. Okay, Miss Hijabi Tyra Banks. <laughs> Who knew years later the balaclava would come back, but I love this. I love it so much. I'm so excited to scroll through this. Um, and then the last two books I got are random. They don't really have any meaning like the other first four that I showed you. So this one is just called Minimalista and I just really liked the color of it. I feel like this will be really cute in my bedroom. And it says your step-by-step -step guide to a better home, wardrobe, and life. So it could actually be useful too. Will I read it? Probably not, but maybe one time down the line. But I just feel like, I don't know, even just scrolling through the photos, you'll get some really nice inspiration on how to kind of like put pieces together in your home. Um, actually, you know, maybe I will read this because it's kind of interesting. Like they tell you how to like maintain and keep like your bedding and stuff, for example. Um, how to organize your closet, treat your spaces with respect. I feel like this is kind of like a really cool book to have and it's beautiful, so I love that. Oh, this is so cool. It has a little like checklist for your kitchen and pantry area. That's actually kind of a cool book. Maybe I will read it. Um, and then this one I just thought was beautiful as well. It says live beautifully or is it just live beautiful? Oh, it's just live beautiful. I mean the cover photo on this already is just so stunning. Wow. So this one will probably go in my bedroom as well, just because it matches the tones and the vibes in there. Um, but it just has a bunch of different photos of different like apartments and homes and different styles. This one's a little bit more modern than like the Architectural Digest one, but it'll give me a lot of ideas. And I feel like also when I'm like in the home buying process again um, and going through like decor and stuff like that, I think this will be really, really helpful to kind of sort through and get inspiration. So. Really excited for this one too. But I believe that is everything I got. I made literally the biggest mess I've ever seen in my room right now. Um, so I have some time, or I have to find some time to clean this up before my ifs are on Sunday in case people actually like want to come upstairs and see my place. But thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this episode of the Ramadan Daily. I just thought a little cute haul would be fun for you guys. So if you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you'd like to see more home decor videos in the future. And yeah, I cannot wait to like style this. So obviously following along during the Ramadan Daily to see how I kind of style all these pieces. I'll probably go through that like sometime next week and like really pull all my style items out and just like style them really prettily, prettily, prettily. Okay, I'm done. I can't talk anymore. I'm exhausted. I need to break my fast. I have like an hour left. So thank you for watching y'all. Check the description for all the links to all the items that I found and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Ooh, actually before I leave, as I always mention, please, please, please be sure to donate to Ethiopia, my fundraising campaign with Islamic Relief USA. I would love to help as many Ethiopians as possible this Ramadan, people that are in really dire need, that have been suffering through war and just horrible conditions. Um, they really need your guys' support. So if you can click the link in the top of my de description and you know, include a donation, make an intention that it is for the sake of God and that you are, you know, hoping to help people with it and then also help yourself through reward, um, then it will be 
that much more special. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.